Hello, good, uh, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, nice to be here. Um, thank you for staying here until this late. Um, it is the last two lightning calls in the morning. Um, I'm Ariel. You could call me J1 or Ariel any way you like. Uh, I come from Harvard City University, Hamburg, and I work as a GIS developer uh, since five years in this university. I have a background of remote sensing, also GIS analysis, and right now I step a little bit my feet into the natural language processing, uh, geocoder, and uh, nominatium geocoder. Um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about an application we developed. It's called uh, Tosca, and also it has a previous name called Open City Toolkit. We cooperate with uh, German Institute for International Cooperation, GIZ, and also we have a tender uh, partnership stakeholders come from India and Ecuador. Uh, we are going to launch Egypt this year and we are already running the project with Palestine. So there are four, um, so to say, countries we cooperate with. It is open source WebGIS uh, software. Anyone can clone the project from the GitHub and you could just uh, access the free uh, resource about tutorial, everything, step by step, um, how to implement the system, and so on and so on. Today it will be not too technical, I promise you. Um, I just want to give a very short introduction. So OpenCC Toolkit, uh, as you see, it can be deployed on the hardware as touch table. So a uh, user can just zoom in, zoom out, and uh, rotate the map, for example, and um, you could also <coughs> deploy the system itself on the virtual machine. It can be hosted also locally. Uh, we highly recommend you to um, install this on the Linux to avoid some packages conflict. So uh, as you can see here, the software architect is very simple. We use GeoServer as back end. Uh, we use Node.js, Vue.js, the front end, uh, JavaScript frameworks. And uh, in the middle where we are currently refactoring the system, we are using PYWPS to, as a bridge to communicate between front end and back end. The database, we have also a plan to upgrade into PostgreSQL database. Currently, the system is running uh, GrassGIS as back end uh, processors. So here is the system interface. You can see here, um, layer switcher on the right. right. In the middle is very clear the uh, map itself, so everything is customizable. You could, um, from the back end your server, you could add new layers. You could also, um, um, at, at, at the top, you can see there's a module. So there are four modules so far. We have buffer modules. We have time map, which is uh, referred to catchment area. Similar functionality, we also have built-in. And also there are query area module, which is similar to in the desktop JS, select area by the, the attributes. So for example, here's a, a screenshot from India applications. We're trying to solve the problem of the um, up, uh, slum upgrade. So people are trying to see where is the best habitat area for them um, that they can uh, maybe move to. So uh, this is how well I'm going to skip it because we don't have much time. So this is touch table and we have this uh, Vimeo tutorial page. You might need to log in, create an account, then you can see all the videos. And here we also have a uh, administration guideline. So if you have in-house GIS expert, you could also understand how to upload the data. So this already talked about it. Um, so these are the four functionality I've just mentioned. So um, yeah. This is Compatacy uh, scenario. So it is uh, similar in desktop GIS uh, select by uh, locations, select feature by location, so you could just overlapping a catchment area on the feature you wanted to analyze. So um, it is very straightforward. You could customize the colors you want as well in the SLD in the back end of your server. So I have only one minute, so this is, <laughs> we win the Hamburg's uh, Open Science Award in 2020, and uh, here's the online scenario, and here's all the resources, make a screenshot, and uh, talk to us. We are around in the venue. Thank you very much.